Last time on Sailing One Life, we made it back to the boat and dove headfirst into lots of projects. We fixed our autopilot and refrigeration system before putting our sails back up. After a couple weeks of boat work, we had high hopes that we would be able to leave the dock soon. Good morning. So we are nearly done with all of our boat projects. We're just waiting on a few more parts to come in. And then we're ready to leave the marina. So today... We're going on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a little land adventure because we've got a couple days to spare. So we can rent a car from the marina here. And then we're going to drive over to historic San Juan. We made the three hour drive to old San Juan and checked in to our Airbnb, where we dropped our backpacks and took off to enjoy this historic city. Castilla San Cristobal was first on our list. This fortress was finished by the Spanish in 1783 and covering 27 acres of land is the largest Spanish fort in the New World. Because of its location between Europe and the Americas, Puerto Rico became known as the gateway to the New World. When sailing from Europe, Puerto Rico was the first large island with fresh water and also had an excellent safe harbor where ships could seek shelter, making it highly sought after. Spain got to Puerto Rico first and then spent the next 400 years protecting it. On the northwesternmost point, Castilla San Felipe del Moro was built to guard the entrance to the San Juan Bay. This fort was built to defend the Spanish colonial city of San Juan from seaborne enemies. We did not go inside as we were more fascinated with the spectacular views around the fort than the view from within. For the rest of the evening, we wandered around the city, admiring the old time charm, drinking and trying local dishes. And we called it an early night so we could hike in the morning. We made it to the trailhead and it's raining already. Great day to be in the rainforest. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. So we read that this trail is extra muddy, even when it doesn't rain. And of course it's been raining for days straight. So it's, uh, it's pretty wet. We hear it gets worse. It is very humid and very slippery. <laughs> but so far, so good. I think I found a guava. Looks more like passion fruit to me. Is that passion fruit? Try it. I don't think I want to try this one. Passion fruit. It's good. We came to a pretty big mud pit. <laughs> Here I go. It's pretty muddy. It's pretty muddy. It's pretty fun though. Check out my shoes. 
Well, I think we're almost to the top. It looks like it's getting a little bit clearer and still lots of rocks and lots of mud, but Carrie should be right behind me. Just surrender yourself to the mud. I think I've surrendered. Look at my feet. I see the clearing. I just thought we were almost to the top. Couple more mud pits to go through. Ready? <laughs> go! I kind of feel like this is a trick for tourists who think they want to just like do a trail on their own and then come here and just realize it's a giant mud pit and not really a trail at all. We made it to the top. We can't see anything. We're getting pretty used to not being able to see anything at the top. And uh, we just had a snack and we're hoping these clouds roll through. Well, we were up here at the highest point in El Yuque, but there's no view coming for us today. In fact, we hear thunder coming towards us, so. <laughs> and it's starting to rain again. We're hiding under this bush <laughs> from the rain, but I think we're gonna give up the weight and make our way back down the mudslide. Yeah, but at least we uh, can say we did it. Yeah. And it was fun playing in the mud anyway. No epic views and epic drone footage today, but that's okay. It's all part of the adventure. <laughs> All right, I'm cold. Down we go. Okay. I don't know if you heard that or not, but that was thunder, <laughs> which is our signal to get the hell down this mountain. <laughs> It is pouring. I want to be clear that this isn't just like one or two sections of this trail that's muddy. It's the entire thing. Brooke says we are doing it in the rainy season. Which, I guess. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm wet, I'm muddy. So muddy. Cool trail. This fun. More of a stream than a trail. But we made it. <laughs> Nice new shoes. Brand new. I think I broke them incorrectly. Well, we just got dried off, changed our clothes, and now we're gonna see if we can find a waterfall. The Rio Grande River flows through the El Yunque National Forest and through the town of Rio Grande. We never did make it to the waterfall, but we were happy to dip our feet in and get a quick look around. Well, it's still raining. Crappy outside. So we're gonna head back to the marina. We were gonna head home after stopping at the river, but we were passing a super Walmart and there's no better way to provision than a super Walmart. So we've already filled one cart completely and I had to run and get a second cart Brooks doing work. Checking off our list. We haven't went on a proper provisioning shopping spree since we left Grenada, so we took full advantage of the massive Walmart in our rental car to stock One Life back up properly. Good morning! Last night we got home with all of these groceries super late. So this morning 
the fun begins. I'm going to take all the labels off, label everything, and try to put it all someplace. And then we're gonna go on provisioning run number two for our perishable items. So it's gonna be another busy day, but one day closer to leaving the marina. While Brooke unloads all of our groceries from yesterday, I'm on a mission to get our propane tanks rebuilt. Got three of our tanks with me, they're all empty. And I'm headed to Cabo Rojo Gas. Hopefully I'm able to speak enough Spanish to get them to refill these. We'll see what happens. That was actually really easy. Probably one of the easiest propane fills we've ever had, but it really helps having a rental car. It makes everything so much easier. Gary got back with our propane bottles and it was time to do some more grocery shopping. We bought all our non-perishable items from Walmart, but went to the local grocery store to stock up on meats, cheeses, and veggies. We've learned if we eat what the locals eat, our grocery bill is much lower and we tend to eat much healthier. I'm gonna guess it was $362. Wait, how much? 362. Uh, what was it? 320. 320, pretty good. So we spent about a thousand dollars on groceries in the past two days. Yeah. That should last us probably about three months. <laughs> when we got home, we repackaged and vacuum sealed all our meat so it stays fresh and so we can pack as much as possible in our tiny freezer. So we just got our package from our friend Kenny. Thank you so much, Kenny. Let's see how these blocks look now. Hopefully this is the last piece of the boat we need be able to sell again. Oh, he said snacks too. What? Look at that. We got peanut butter bars. Here's the two sheaves that go in our turning blocks. New bushings pressed in. Our blocks. And new Harkin sheaves. They look good. These were the last parts we needed to finish getting One Life ready, and we couldn't wait to get them installed. After feeding our head sail sheets through our new blocks, One Life was officially ready to sail. And the list is pretty much complete. Hopefully we remember how to sail. <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure it out. But yeah, we're super excited to get out of the marina and get back to sailing. Yeah, it's been a it's been a long couple weeks. We're tired of doing boat work. <laughs> Cheers. I think we've checked everything off our list and have done all our repairs correctly and it is time to check out of Marina Pescaderia. <laughs> yep, no more fixing things, it's time to go break things. A few more things to do, we gotta check out of the office here. We've gotta fuel up and then we gotta figure out where we're gonna go anchor. <laughs> we have officially checked out and paid our bill. We have one more stop. We need to get our laundry. Pick up our laundry. <laughs> Some last minute laundry to avoid the bucket laundry. <laughs> Say goodbye to the air conditioning. Oh no! Ah. I'll be ready for that ocean breeze tonight. It was finally time to untie our lines and shove ourselves away from the dock. We didn't really have a plan as to where we were going from here, but with all our boat chores done, we weren't staying at this marina a second longer. We made a quick stop at the fuel dock to fill our tanks, and then we said goodbye to marina life. We 
gone. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> We're not staying at the dock anymore. Follow along during our next episode as we figure out what's next. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. A big thank you to all of our One Life crew. We have the most kick-ass friends and family. To score some SV One Life gear for yourself, head over to svonelife.com. Good mark. <laughs> Not that's good mark. That's good mark. <laughs> oh, lost a shoe! <laughs> Lost the shoe! <laughs> Gary's bored in the grocery store, can you tell? <laughs>